What's going on guys? Let's get this voice over started before I lose half of you viewers because I'm starting with glute kickbacks, but I'm gonna one take this. Um, I'm exhausted after this leg workout. I miss this feeling even though it feels terrible. It's like that feeling you get after just a crazy leg session or compound movement session where you're just completely wiped. I feel like I haven't slept or eaten in like a day, but um, it's a great feeling. So I'm um, really happy this, about this leg workout and I'm gonna get right into it. This is an alternative to uh, for those who struggle or are struggling to make up the majority of the leg workout um, predominantly from squats and deadlifts for whatever reasons, whether you're recovering, injured, uh, new to the movements, changing your form and you had to lower the weight a lot, um, which is a smart thing to do. Uh, this is just an alternative, high volume, um, high intensity, lighter weight leg workout. So let's get right into it. Five sets on the glute kickbacks to warm up. I did a few warm ups for those. Then I, did, I warmed up on the adductor and abductors. Be careful, when you're, especially when you're doing the adductor, always warm up because you could easily pull a muscle in your groin. It happen, happens to me all the time. Nothing major, but I get pains there if I don't warm up. So I did a few warm ups, then I did the superset. Three sets each. After that, the glutes, specifically, specifically the medial glute, were um, uh, super warmed up, not exhausted. I didn't take them to crazy failure, but they were nice and pumped, and uh, I had a really good mind-muscle connection with them. So I went to the stiff leg deadlift with dumbbells. And here is one of my sets in live speed. As you can see, pausing a bit at the bottom, not focusing on lowering the dumbbells that much because I was focusing on sticking my butt out, which is essentially kind of like increasing the range of motion. It makes the stretch harder. After that, I got on the Cybex leg press. I've never used this in my life. Uh, I didn't really realize how short my range of motion is, but to push it farther away from me doesn't feel right on this machine. It feels okay in the leg press, but not on this one. But the load I got in my quads at the bottom of the movement where I had a uh, light pause felt really good. So I ended up going with five sets there and then trying a hack squat machine. I haven't done a hack squat since I trained at a U-Fit in Pembroke Pines when I lived in Hollywood, Florida like a year and a half ago. But um, I gotta get some sort of squatting in and uh, I'm able to stabilize very well here because I'm you know not with a free bar on my back. So I'm gonna include all three sets here. This is a 30 plus set leg workout, but I'm gonna include all three sets here, switching between three and five times speed for the rest of the workout, so you guys can get an idea of exactly how I'm doing it. I was pausing at the bottom, focusing on spreading the floor a little bit, and uh, just really concentrating on good form and whatnot. But uh, this felt pretty good. I don't normally like the hack squat, probably because I used to go too heavy on it, because if you're bouncing out of the hole and treating it like a compound movement that you're trying to, you know, get heavy weights in, it's probably not the best. I mean, if you have no pain, go for it, but this is an exercise I like to pause with, go down slow, execute a lot of control because uh, it's just what I think feels best. And if you're controlling the weight really, really well, it's going to activate more muscles than if you're only doing stretch reflex for every single rep. <laughs> All right, seventh exercise, back to the hamstrings. This is an exercise Ryan showed me, the kid I posed with last weekend. We're actually posing tomorrow too. Um, it's just a lying hamstring curl, but you hold a dumbbell between your legs. And the fact that you have to push your feet together and make sure your feet are at the right angle so the dumbbell's pretty much perpendicular to the floor, I almost got trolled there. You get a really, really good focus on your hamstring. So I wouldn't only do this as far as curls goes, but throw this into your routine because it's a very, very different activation than just the machines. And it kind of feels like you're doing a glute ham raise. Like when I do glute ham raises, I feel the same muscles. Obviously you're using way less weight, but you're gonna focus on the same exact muscle recruitment. You'll notice it if you try it. A few sets on leg extension is what I did after. I only filmed the last one. And again, my range of motion is limited on this. It's just how it works for me. Um, I recommend you guys extend it all the way if you can, but you gotta work it within your own limitations. And that was it. It was about eight exercises for quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Um, and then I did five sets for calves. I recommend hitting legs twice per week and switching up your, um, you know, just focusing on quads and hams, or maybe one time a week and the next week hit him a couple times because it's too much volume for one day which is why I feel so crappy 
But I'm focusing on growing my upper body for physique, so exhausting myself by doing legs twice a week, maybe not, be, it's at least not the move right now. So that's it for the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nothing too exciting, but thank you so much for the support and I hope you enjoyed the All workout. Right guys. As you can see, just finished the gym, covered in sweat right now. I brought a shirt to change into so I can drive home. But yeah, it's like a two and a half hour session. Everything felt really good. Um, started light on the glute kickbacks and all the adductor work and I was able to like be an efficient warm up. But other than that, everything felt good. All the pause hacks felt good. Um, got a little bit of cardio in after, a lot of stretching. So overall time here was like two and a half hours, like I said, but that's kind of what it takes sometimes when you just spend time doing cardio and stretching. So get it done guys and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Super tired after that leg workout, but I'm gonna show you what I'm eating really quick. Keeping it simple, keeping it low carb. Got 200 gram, or 100 grams of chicken breast, which is 26 grams of protein. 20 grams of protein from egg whites, quarter cup of peppers, some fat-free cheese. Let's eat this up. Fish show.